Hi up. Hi up. Welcome. Hey, hey Roz, how are you? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. It's kind of a uh slow week for us. And so well, I'm slow enjoying week for you, maybe. It for the SCA, yes. For not the SCA. Yeah, not a slow week for me, but uh that's a whole nother story. But yeah, SCA wise a little slow week. We're kind of coming down off a of coronation. Yes. Um, Excellent coronation, excellent step down. Um, Weather was pleasant. It was beautiful. A oh, little bit of was, rain, but not too much. You know, but I was worried that it was going to come Saturday evening. Um, and so it just sprinkled in the morning, got yeah. out of our way, got it humid and gross, but then it settled out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I think they did a wonderful, wonderful event. Axmore hosted, correct? Yes, well done, Axmore. Yes, a fabulous well time. Done. Yeah, um, I think I, I think it was fun. The the Hoflo was fun at the end. That was my favorite part. I, having everyone come together in that one area at the end of the night was was really really one wonderful feeling of just camaraderie and enjoyment. Yeah, yeah that happened um, for me at when T T O C at the mm -hmm. same site. Because and I guess because the uh, the common area is so small that mm -hmm. everything's kind of crammed into that one area, yeah. And you and you can't break out, uh, break you know free. Too far. Or, yeah, too far. You have your own space. It's not like you're crammed in like sardines. But you know, I think it was great. A couple of people had left their tents up, and we they reused those, and so that kind of helped create a. Uh, you know, kind of an intimate space that everybody hang, hung out at. And that, that was really nice. I yeah, do have yeah. a question for you, though, Dot. Sure, hit me. We did. We saw the end of the, um, what do you call grill? it? The, the grill saga. Quest right? for the grill? Yeah. Yes. Is that coming? Is, the, is there, should we expect something to come out soon on that? You should expect two things. Um, one will be the standalone issue. Uh, they're stepping down they're, the mm -hmm. final installment. And then I'm going, if you missed any of it, I'm going to edit it all together so you can follow the entire story from okay. the, the inception of the Knights of the Tong um, to the conclusion okay. um, of when they find the Holy Grail. So that will be coming to YouTube and I have a little bit um, of editing still to do um, to, to finish and get that up on TikTok. So yeah. Keep us posted. I can't I wait to see that. Posted. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, <laughs> it will probably hopefully be posted. What is today? Tuesday? Well, when yeah. we're recording it, it's Tuesday. Hopefully it will go up on Wednesday, which might have been yesterday if we get this posted on Thursday. <laughs> Oh, I'm not that fast. Maybe, maybe by Thursday, I will okay. attempt to do, to get this going. Right. Anyway, anyway, for you guys out there, uh, that's a little behind the scenes of how much time it takes for us to work on all this stuff for you. Um, so, which brings us to a free-ish weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a holiday weekend uh, here in the South. Everybody, a lot of, most everybody celebrates Easter in some way. Yep. Uh, yep. For, for us, um, I, I'm a teacher. We have Friday and Monday off. So it's a little bit of a, a yeah, it, it makes it for a nice little four-day break. And yes. I will sleep through the entire thing. What are you doing? Uh, this Making is 25 outfits? Well, maybe. But traditionally, this is a time for me to go visit extended family. And uh, so I, I make sure that I uh, check in. Uh, with them so it's like the fourth of july and easter and christmas are kind of my time to that i spend with uh my family uh however i did say to fergus i think i'm going to take these items to sew on my mother's sewing machine this weekend so <laughs> so fergus will get something new um and you will have two or three new things that will look fabulous three mm -hmm. yeah probably yeah, that's three. Yeah, but you're a, you're an equal opportunity sewer though. You will you've sewn for me multiple times, and they're all fabulous. And I know. would love to sew for you again. I found the green fabric, so because uh, I tend to lose stuff, I have so much in my fabric stash and and craft room that uh, I get organized and I try to organize stuff, and then I forget where I 
reorganized it to. Mm -hmm. And so I'll start looking for stuff and suddenly I'll find like, oh, that's what happened to that project. So, so if you have projects going on on this free-ish weekend, well, I want you to tell us about it in the comments. What are, what are you working on? Are you working on a new outfit? Are you working on fighter kit? Uh, Getting ready for some upcoming events. You could be, you know, we've got a lot of events coming up. Um, uh, Crown List, Newbie, Beltane, you know, what are you getting ready for those? Our um, favorite like event said, to say at the neon. I did it hyphenetically. Hyphenetically, uh, that's not right either. Is it? I'm, I, I'm not the teacher. <laughs> that, that, that cut me, Ross. <laughs> that cut me. Anthonium. I've got it right <laughs> here, hyphenetically. <laughs> Phonetically, phonetically, not hyphenetically. Oh my God. Okay, so just for you, I have put in. You have a lot of days. stuff. Going. Yeah. I've put in 12 hour days for the last two weeks with events on in between. Because so, you are a fabulous teacher and you're getting those kids ready for this play and you're mm, mm, crushing, crushing it. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent yes. job. Anthony. So, Anthony. So moving forward, what yep. was it, something that was announced today, uh, um, the day that we're recording this, I should say, right. um, Duke James is taking uh, bids for Tournament of Champions. Correct. Uh, if you don't know, that is considered a floating event, um, right? So it doesn't necessarily have a date that is scheduled it can go uh, you're going to put in bids and so you would i'm assuming uh, ros and you can correct me but you would put in an uh, a site and the date is that correct so yes i mean if i was doing it i would treat it just kind of like use the regular bid forms for different stuff like if you're creating an event go ahead and you know do everything you would normally do to work on an event and send it in just to fully flesh it out and it you know the the more planning you've already got ahead ahead of time, then the easier it is to make a decision on that sort of stuff. So right, and and that's quickly becoming my favorite event. It was a good event. It it was, was a good event. I even though I'm I don't fight anymore. There's there's electricity around that event. Yeah, it, it, ju it just is, and and when you only have one thing to focus on, which is the fighting and what tournament. Now there's a ton of fighting, but it's just that that to me i don't know and it, i think it, the atmosphere is a little more laid back let's say than a crown list or something it's it's, <laughs> it's it's very prestigious to be a part of that you know like as in the past we've said get the golden tickets and things like that but it's uh it's kind of a wonderful combination of laid back and prestigious for our uh, armored com combatants so right yeah, yeah. I, I think it and and for a spectator you can't ask for anything more because you're going to get the best fighting. I mean, yeah. hands down, it was some of the it's best good. fighting I've ever seen. But I've gone back and watched a couple of those YouTube videos. Yeah. So, good stuff, yeah. that. And All right. Talking well, about, oh, I'm sorry. About, well, I was going to say, while we were talking about James, the Holy, he was um, named, I'm going to do a fantastic segue, he was named King's Champion this past weekend. So yeah, so this brings us into the rapier champion. Boom, go to you. So <laughs> I just get us there. I don't remember the information that I wrote down. <laughs> so this uh, upcoming at Newbie Collegium, uh, the crown will be holding their kingdom Ra kingdom rapier championship. Now, the interesting thing about this tournament is called the bag of tricks, meaning that it is a random draw on fighting styles so be prepared and that is hosted by the province of Lagerdam. and where was it going to be at dot it is in clinton arkansas at camp formosa yeah pretty yeah. familiar with that site yeah. Camp formosa. Yeah. so all our fencers out there we'd love to see you turn out and uh, be prepared for anything it sounds like love to get some video of that yeah so. well i won't be there, I want to talk to our social media people and see who yeah. can get us some good stuff for that. Um, 
And then we have um, an announcement of somebody being elevated soon, Lady Avicia. Yes, uh, one, but yes, sure. Dot. Yeah, but yes, Dot. There was a an, major announcement at coronation. Uh, the Honorable Lady Avicia was asked to join the Order of the Pelican at a later date. So, yeah, and I'm just getting to know her, and she's fabulous. She's, she does a lot of work. She was the deputy for the web minister, and she just took over the web minister's office from somebody you know very well. Um, so, we're excited to work with her. Um, on that and that is all that I have that's all I've got you know I'm looking forward to kind of some downtime show some stuff uh, which brings us to the end of our show for this week which I uh, hate to say we have to end on the same way that we ended last week um, we just would like to take a moment and raise a glass uh, for those who are no longer with us. You will be missed. So, again, I hate to end it on that note, but be safe out there. Take care of we'll, each other. We'll see you next time.